And in 19, 1901, the first Marconi wireless station in the United States to communicate with ship to sea was installed in Sias Constant, up there on the main road across from the, what is now the telephone building. And I distinctly remember that. That Marconi station, of course, is very interesting, not only because it was the first, the New York Herald backed it as a, I suppose, a publicity stunt, and, but um, one of the young messenger boys at the time, at, when they came down with the engineers that, that put up the first pole, uh, was David Sarnoff, who just later became General Sarnoff and head of RCA and so forth. There, there was only one pole at the, the very beginning, and uh, um, because of the family intimacy with the, with the people that ran it, they asked that the, said that I could be allowed to uh, pull up the first American flag. Well, of course, I was too little to do any flag pulling, so Mother had to f pull up the flag, but I was in evidence, so, and it was a, just a gesture, a compliment, and. Uh, so that, so I feel personally connected with <laughs> with the, the first station. Mark Honey, he was the first one to receive a call when the Steamer Republic hit the Lisbon lightship on the shoal out there in Rosie Crown Shoal, and they lost every man on it. And. Uh, the, they received the first message of the Titanic over that station also later. Mm -hmm. And uh, the actors were very fond of baseball, and they all rooted very hard for the Giants, the old New York Giants. When the Marconi station was uh, set up up the hill from here, and they would bring down the score of the game every afternoon to the Ocean View Hotel, and the different people would come in from tennis or golf would be standing around there waiting to hear the news, whether the Giants had won, and if they hadn't won, the flag was put at half-mast. <laughs> and then uh, a few years after, it was they changed the uh, station to uh, a field across uh, what is now New Street, and there was quite a, a station there. They had two tall, very tall uh, uh, Mass to receive the messages and to send them, you know. And that's when I was a messenger boy. Well, that entailed uh, taking messages and delivering them all around Wisconsin on a bicycle. Oh, we had telephones, but uh, if, 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 if some people wanted to get a message through quickly, why, they, that's the way they'd send it. That's the way some of the things happened uh, years ago.